Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics. Uh, last time we worked with a string and now I said that strings are anything that aren't numbers. So now we are going to do something with some numbers. So, alright, for there's actually two different types the way that you can look at numbers in Python. You have something called an int or a float and we won't get too far into the weeds about floats right now but we're just gonna work with integers and in Python um, things are very simplistic last time we talked about purple in parentheses here's another predetermined function and we can just check and make sure that I have some idea what I'm talking about int in programming as you'll see uh, programmers don't like to do a lot of detailed work so they're pretty lazy so that's also why we have programming languages because we want to be able to get a lot more done so all right int is an abbreviation for integer so and with any any numbers in Python it is already set up to be much like a calculator so now as you can see we assigned we took a variable we assigned it with our equal sign to a number that is an integer right here and you can just simply add regular numbers in Python now you can also take the information because Python does not care what this variable is it knows it just goes and looks in memory and sees that it is 40 and then we can add let's say we want to add a year what what's going to happen next year when you're having some sort of items so right here we just took age and all it does is go back and look into memory and see what age was and it then does this math very simple math and then spits that out now here's something that took me a while to wrap my head around so now what we're doing here is again Python is looking back into memory and it's doing everything on this side of the equal sign the assignment character does all this work first and then comes back and links it or assigns it to this variable it does not care that it's the same variable this is the thing that took me a while to wrap my head around so we hit enter and lo and behold it's 41 now this is really what messed me up for a while this is a term called increment and again this is another example of how programmers are lazy because you know this took forever to type out right okay now I hit enter and I call the variable last time we sit whenever we type in the variable again it's just called calling the variable Lo and behold, this says increment by one, go up by one. And it also works for to decrement. So age, we go back to 40. And it also works with multiplication and division. So, oops, they added a space. All right, so and say I wanted to increment by multiplication of 2. So number is 4. So 2 times 2 is 4. So there's some quick things to do with numbers, and we'll do some more with floats next time. Thanks for watching.